Hello, my name is Kevin Prego, and this is Common Sense. Over the course of this series, I'll be testing these lovely students from Kane University on their own common knowledge. By the end, we'll learn whether to be glad of our community or lose face of humanity completely. So let's get to know them. Hi, I'm uh, Kyle Green, I'm a communications major. Oh, are we live? Oh, uh, hi, uh, I'm Sean Carney. I'm a communication media film major. I don't, I got into college somehow. Hi, mom. Um, I'm just excited to be here and uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, that was painful. Let's get to explaining what we're doing here today. Over the course of the next few episodes, we will be judging how our students go about adulting. So stick around. For our first segment, we'll be testing whether our students have been on top of their laundry since moving out of their childhood homes. Taking a step of direction in adulthood is doing things by yourself, and that means not smelling. So, contestant one, what's your laundry routine? Well, while I was living at home, I watched my mom do laundry, so doing it on campus wasn't too nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. I usually just like throw the stuff in the machine and sprinkle like some detergent on it a little bit. All right, that's great, good job. I usually separate my colors and my whites. How about you? Oh, uh, well, you see, I don't have the time to properly like go down and do it to the laundry room, so I, you know, improvise. Kind of just sort of put my clothes in the sink and kind of, you know, whoosh them around. Swoosh? Yeah, yeah, you know, like, you know, like, like this. And do you use detergent? Yeah. Uh, I used to use this thing called a uh, blech. I don't know if you've heard of it, but then I kind of started to make my clothes look all funny. Y yeah, bleach does that. That explains a lot. Now, now, now one thing students on campus share all together is that they're broke. So, for this part, we'll be testing them using fake job interview scenarios, which means me as the boss, man. We'll take the candidates and have them step into my office. Okay, applicant one. What qualities do you think a good worker has? Well, uh, I think you know they have to have good communication skills and good eye contact. Um, okay, that's part of it. What would you wear? Um, well, I would wear the required attire, like what's necessary. Well, 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 what would you wear if somebody were to take you out? What? Like, 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 say dinner. Like a, a business meeting over dinner? No, 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 I mean, I mean like a guy you meet in a bar two days ago, he wants to be nice. Uh, um. Are you into, are you into black guys? Speaking of, of dinner? Let's spin the wheel and see who's going to make me dinner. What? What the hell does that have to do with the interview? Hi! Welcome to the cooking section of our show. Today, we're going to be teaching you how to detach yourself from mother's bosom. In order to become a big boy like myself, you have to learn how to chef it up a bit. Contestant two. My name's Allie. Anyway, what do you tend to like to eat? As midnight snack. Whatever. Um, I usually don't eat pasta. Eh. Anyway, today we're gonna be cooking cup noodles. That has a lot of sodium. So does your personality. And carbs. So does your hips. Come with me for a second. Who's on the show here? You are? Exactly. I know you You think you know you in this la-la land or whatever, but, but ladies and professionals, I am. 
Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? Look, look at me. Look at me. Okay. I hate this job. Can you work with me here? Please? Yeah, yeah. All right. Welcome back to our show. Today, we're going to be... You know what these are? Yeah. Of course you do. We're going to microwave these. Okay. It says on the top you shouldn't microwave. I mean, yeah. Sometimes I'm impatient. You know, I just throw it in the microwave first because um, it. So pretty much, the way it insulates itself, and the it's... noodles get warm, and then they boil the water. You fun? No. <laughs> Welcome back. We're nearing the end of our show, and I like to get more intimate with the interviewer example. I'm gonna show contestant one how to properly kick that interview's ass. I'll be playing boss man. So Mr. John, tell me about yourself. What qualities do you have to offer in this prestigious workspace? Uh, well, first off, my last name's Green. Wrong. You are who I say you are. Remember, there are 30 guys out there waiting for the same interview. I got it. So Mr. Cumberbatch, tell me about some of your accomplishments uh i can um I, well i'm sorry i'm just a bit nervous no, that, that's completely fine remember people your boss wants to know that you're nervous he'll take it easy on you go ahead mrs jackson i guess you can say i'm very driven um i'm willing to work even when when i don't want to that, that's great we need some of those um, I'm allergic to peanuts, so if anybody is eating peanuts, I'm gonna have to go. That's childish, but completely fine. We don't allow food anyway. Um, also, sometimes when I get nervous, I can't control my flatulence. Is that what that smell is? <laughs> uh, is, is mm. I also have this thing where I need to blow my nose um, a lot when I'm anywhere close to being sick. <laughs> sick. That's fine. Remember, let the boss man know all of your weaknesses first, so that I'm excited for your strengths. Put your worst foot forward, I always say. Go ahead, Mr. Cosby. I, I don't know what else to say. It, it's okay. Let's be honest, if you're one of those people who only applied here that's white, fine. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys have learned something. I'll see you next week when we go over people skills.